Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandAndAirPhotos.com. Setting up the Ruko U11 Pro is a little bit different than other drones that you might be used to. In this episode, I want to walk through the setup process that you should do before each flight. So let's go through the process of getting the Ruko U11 Pro ready to, to fly. And this is something you should do basically before every flight. Uh, and the first step is kind of unusual. Normally you start your transmitter first. With this drone, you start the drone first. Button on the bottom, push and hold. Next step is to power up the transmitter. Power button on the transmitter is right here. Turn that on. I'm going to bring this close. You can see the hopefully the lights are, are blinking on the transmitter. So the next thing you do is bind the controller and the drone together and you do that by pulling the left stick down to six o'clock. First beep says that the two were bound. Next beep you heard says that we have our, it confirms that we've got our GPS connection. The next thing we're going to do is open up our settings and go to connections and under Wi-Fi connections either connect your uh, phone with the, the the drone or it may if you've flown before it will already probably have connected but you should see on screen that we have connected to the Ruko U11 Pro Wi-Fi network so that's done next thing we're going to do is open the Ruko GPS app and it says go flying I click on going flying it comes up with this little tutorial I'm not going to read through it right now click on no longer remind and go and it's telling me to come uh, to come the uh, calibrate the compass and you do that by picking up the drone and spinning it until it tells you not to. Okay. Okay. Now it's telling me to point the camera straight down and spin it. noisiest park I think I've ever been to. Okay, you can see our FPV view has come up and we are all calibrated with the compass there. All right, last thing we do with the setup is we got to calibrate our gyro and you take your right stick and go down to five o'clock. And that's good to go. That's the setup process. Now there's one more thing I recommend that you do before every flight and that's just to go into your settings in your app and make sure uh, that these things here, the uh, maximum distance, maximum altitude, and then re return to a home altitude have not changed since your previous flight. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in the so here we go. Max distance set to 66 meters. Max altitude is 21 meters. Return to home altitude is 21 meters. And that's fine for my location. But you notice the beginner's mode is turned on. And I don't want that turned on. So I'm going to turn that off. Now I click on the arrow. And the drone is all set up and ready to fly. I've done a complete review on the Ruko U11 Pro. Uh, build quality, flight characteristics, video quality, all that information is included. And you'll find a link to that in the upper right corner uh, on screen right now. Uh, if you're interested in buying the Ruko U11 Pro, uh, the link to buy it is in the description below. There's also a coupon code, Jeff S, all one word. And if you use that, you're going to get a discount of 8% on the purchase of the drone. That's going to save you 25 bucks.
that's it for this episode. Uh, on screen, you'll find links to some more videos on this channel, so I hope you check those out. You'll find a big cartoon Jeff on, uh, on screen. I hope you click that and hit the bell icon that subscribes you and notifies you when I publish again. And as always, I really do appreciate it when you leave comments in the comments section below. Hit that likes button. That helps my channel grow. So anything you can do along those lines, I certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.